the stories that I'm trying to tell in my paintings are where uh, the, the place that you grew up in, you're, you're raising, can be both a place of comfort and pain. And I think with that, there's a lot of stories that, you know, especially in Appalachia, I find that like a lot of the art that's made within Appalachia sometimes only tells about the, the poverty. It only tells about these hardships that are still obviously going on. I mean, you know, you gotta, we gotta take a look at the reality. But also I think that the main thing that I try to do at least in, you know, one in every three paintings that I do is tell a happy story, tell something that actually like fills, fills me up that, uh, you know, like this sort of posi positive, you know, optimistic outlook on Eastern Kentucky. Cause I think for too long, too many people, you know, look at it with sort of a cynical lens. My name is Sierra Evans. I am a painter. Uh, I'm from Bath County, Kentucky, uh, which is a Northeastern part of Kentucky. Growing up there, I grew up in a household with a single mother and uh, a brother and a sister. And that to me was what really kind of made me realize how different life was for me than maybe other people I met throughout the state. Because I think there's so much sacrifice that you have to watch through your parents and there's so much sacrifice you have to watch through the community at large. To me, that's where, where I really started to kind of put my finger on like, you know, what's what's the problem here? You know, what's the problem here? How can we fix that? Why are people not living like these? Why, why, why are, why is so much depression entering this area? Um, and I mean, that's that's obviously, you know, me looking at it with a very critical lens, but I think the happiness that i found within Eastern Kentucky is obviously family. There's nothing like family for me. Um, I think a lot of my friends would describe me as a loyal person, and I think it's because of where I was raised. The subjects that I think are the most interesting for me to paint are my family and the people that are from my community in Bath County uh, that, you know, share those stories that I try to tell. I think with those people, why I love painting them is just, you know, I'm able to tell the truth through them and they're, you know, they're the original storytellers. They're the people that tell me all the stories that I try to tell on the canvas. They're the people that have the sacrifices that I try to paint. Um, and, you know, I think it's really interesting to paint sort of like generations in a way. Uh, and so I try to fill up, I try to fill up my canvases with, with my family and, um, and trusted friends. I think I'm, I, I embrace I embrace the stereotypes, but I, I think what I try to do whenever I embrace those stereotypes is use humor for the people that look at those paintings that maybe aren't from the area. That way, it really kind of catches them off guard, and I think also kind of takes back what everybody has said about Eastern Kentuckians and what everybody said at Appalachia at large. You know, I think for the longest time I tried to reject where I was raised and I tried to like run away from it, and then at some point I found that that's what made me special. I think one of the biggest stereotypes that you find within Eastern Kentucky is the outlaw and the sort of like hillbilly outlaw that's like ready to run away from the law and you know, all this, you know, drinking in the midday, you know, lazy. But specifically the idea of the outlaw, I, th I thought I think is so interesting because I grew up with outlaws. I feel like I'm an outlaw whenever it comes to, you know, my past. To me, you know, I find that those people, they, they get the most judgment and they, they get the harshest critique. And I think people don't understand how much generosity those people are filled with or how much room for uh, love that they have. To me, that's like, that's where the heart is of it all. That's, the, that's where the heart of those, of embracing that stereotype of the outlaw is. My, my relationship with my family and in my childhood and uh, working through those past experiences, I find that artwork has very much been a therapy for me. Being able to put these stories out there and being able to paint the people that are in my life the way that I want to paint them, the way that I see them in my mind, uh, has been a way of finding forgiveness for those people and finding space for them to, I mean, re-enter my life. And I think with that, with those people coming back into my life, it's very much like a love letter to Kentucky. I think, you know, for the longest time, I was so cynical about where I was from and then being able to Really being able to paint those people allow me to love Kentucky again. And that's like, to me, it's like each time I, each time I paint something, I'm, I'm finding something new that I love about it. I hope that whenever people look at my paintings, if they're from Eastern Kentucky, by God, I hope that they love the representation that I give. And I hope that they see themselves within my story. If they are not, and they don't understand the niche, you know, sort of elements that I'm putting into into the story and or even the story at large, ask yourself why you don't understand that and ask yourself why uh, you're different from this region and why this region is the way it is. And maybe it'll aid you into understanding, being a little bit more forgiving and understanding uh, the region. I think to be Appalachian and what it means to be Appalachian, obviously, you know, we think about Appalachia as a geography and to me that can be very limiting, but 
To me, the, 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 with the people that inhabit these regions, what connects everybody is this idea of sacrifice. And that's kind of sad to think about, but I think the thing that I have found, uh, the, the commonality that I've found in the people that are from Eastern Kentucky is they know how to get by and they know how to enjoy the little things. To me, that's like the, great, the greatest religion of all is you know, to enjoy the little things. And I think that's like the one thing that I've, I've found that I've connected with with everybody within Eastern Kentucky and in Appalachia at large is that sacrifice and that, that, that willingness, to, willingness to give even. Hey everybody, I'm Chip Holston and I am cherishing this Kentucky life. And if you enjoyed that story and would like to see more, click right here to see more.